In this training video, we'll show you how to create a filter in MarketSite. A filter is a setting or a variable that will limit the responses or records that appear in a crosstab, data view, chart, or dashboard. You can create a filter on the fly when designing a crosstab, or, as we'll demonstrate in this video, you can create one here in the variable section to be reused at any time. In this example, we're going to create a filter that includes only large households. To begin, Click New in the action bar and select Filter. First, we'll name this filter Large Households. Next, we'll choose the category where it will be stored, and that's Demographics. The next step is to specify the filter logic. To do that, we'll select one or more variables and the desired operators and values on which to base the filter, and they will be inserted into this panel here. We can either search or browse for our predecessor variable, household size. We'll search by typing the word household and hitting enter. That will limit this dropdown to variables that contain the word household. As you can see, household size is the second item, which is the one we want. Next, we'll choose the values that fit our definition. In this case, we're going to choose the greater than or equal to operator, and then choose the value 4 to define a large household. Next, click Add to Definition, and the statement appears here. This statement is a very simple filter. I could add other clauses to the statement by creating different value and variable combinations using the AND or OR items. I can also use parentheses and the NOT operator. And I can edit these items by clicking on them and then making changes here. Since this is the complete definition of our filter, we'll click OK to create this new filter variable. Back on the Variables page, we look in the Demographics folder, and we can now see our Large Households variable. This icon, with the letter F, tells us that it's a filter. To see how many responses or records are included in this filter, we can right-click on the name to view the summary statistics. This number indicates how many records are defined as large households. This filter is now ready for use in any crosstab, chart, data view, or dashboard. That concludes this training video on filters.